Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to take a look at De Morgan's Laws for Logic. De Morgan's Laws for Logic answer the question, how do we find the negation of a compound statement? How do we find the negation for P and Q? We would think of that as not P and Q. De Morgan's Laws for Logic says that the negation of not P and Q is not P or not Q. Let's explore that by creating the truth table. If we start with P and Q in our usual true, true, false, false, true, false, true, false organization, the next thing we can create is the truth table for P and Q. We know that P and Q is only true when both P and Q are true and false everywhere else. Next, we can create not P and Q by recognizing that the negation should be the opposite of the statement. So the opposite of true, false, false, false is false, true, true, true. Next, if we create not P, that should have the opposite for P. And if we create not Q, that should have the opposite for Q. Then if we create not P or not Q, well, that will be true any time that at least one of those not P and not Q are true. So we get false, true, true, true. What we notice here is that the columns for the negation of P and Q and for the statement not P or not Q have exactly the same combination of truth values. This means that the two statements are what we call logically equivalent, or you can think of as equal. So not P and Q is the same thing as not P or not Q. What about the disjunction of P and Q? How do we take the negation of P or Q? Well, we can certainly think of that as not P or Q, but what does that look like? Well, De Morgan's Laws for Logic says that the negation of a disjunction is the conjunction of the negations, so not P and not Q. Once again, let's sort of prove this to ourselves using the truth table. So starting, of course, with P and Q in our normal organization, if we make the truth values for P or Q, we'll get true any time at least one of them is true, or true, 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 false. If we then take the negation of that, then we should get false, 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 true. Creating not P and not Q by taking opposite truth values of P and Q, we can finally look at the conjunction of not P and not Q. This will only show true when both not P and not Q are true. So we have false, 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 true. Comparing the column for the negation of P or Q and not P and not Q, we see that they have exactly the same truth values and are therefore logically equivalent. So the negation of P or Q is not P and not Q. All right, guys, that does it for this video on De Morgan's Laws for the Laws of Logic. To see more like this, keep on watching. We'll catch you in a future video.